Hello friends, welcome back to my next tutorial of SOLIDBOX in English version. In this video, I'll explain you about sketch some sketching commands like ellipse, spline, slot, and polygon, and most of the command related to modifying commands. So let's get started. This is Akash, and you are watching my YouTube channel, Design to Future. So you are seeing, I have already opened SOLIDBOX uh, in sketching mode, and let's select the front plane. and click on the sketch option then my next command is ellipse so basically ellipse are the four types you can see ellipse partial ellipse parabola and conic so first of all let's click on ellipse option then click on the center point then click on direction of the x axis then click on direction of the y axis So you can see ellipse shape is already generated. So you can also fit the dimension. Click on the smart dimension option and click uh, from either you can click from the center to end point or click from the both end points like this point and this point and you can provide complete x axis dimensions like uh, yeah 40 or 50 whatever you want and y axis dimension or vertical dimension There is hundred, so it depends on you. So you can see the dimension is modified of the ellipse. The next option is partial ellipse. Partial ellipse it means some of the portion of the ellipse has been trimmed or already it has been eliminated. So you can see, click on uh, center point, click on y axis or x axis, then click on x axis. Then you can draw. Till whatever you want. So I'll draw till this point. You can see. Okay. So you can also fit the dimension. Click on this point, this point, and this point. So you can change the angle, which angle of the ellipse, whatever you want the angle. So you can directly modify it. I want 120 degree. So you can see the ellipse shape has been modified. the next uh, option is parabola parabola is like click on a center point then click on focal length point this is called focal length click on the focal length point then start point then end point you can see you can also fit the dimension like this click on this point to this point fit the dimension of focal length of parabola and how much width you required click on both points like this so let's click on conic option then click on the width of conic this is the width of conic then move your person in upside direction like this okay then next uh, you have to provide the focal length okay i have provided the focal length but the focal length uh, point is exist on outside of the conic like this now provide the dimension from this focal length point to this point and horizontal uh, distance is similar to parabola so you can see so let's come to the next option is called slot there is a four type of slots straight slot center point straight slot three point arc slot and center point arc slot first of all select straight slot straight so slot is basically working like this okay this type of figure is called slot you can see such kind of figure in a key profile area of shaft like mounting of two or coupling of two shafts or coupling a shaft with hole so this type of profile is called a slot you can fit the dimension of center line like i provided 100 and the second dimension is outer radius like this so you can fit the dimension 20 here Radius. So you can see the dimension has been changed of the slot. Let's come to the next slot option. It's called center point slot, straight slot. Click on center point, and you can see the center line is moving both equally from both side like this. Okay, so this is called center point uh, straight slot. Similarly, you can provide the dimension of the center line and outer radius. The next option is called three point arc slot. click on first point then second point then third point and move your cursor then you can see the arc slot has been generated you can provide the dimension of center point, center arc and 
the next radius or uh, is outer arc like this okay so next move to the next slot option is called center point arc slot so it is generating from the center point like center point circle so you can see like this and this okay you can also provide the angle of this arc like click on this point this point and this point okay so you can provide the angle i want to change it 120 degrees so you can see it has been modified okay so next come to the next option is called polygon so i am deleting all these sketch you can select from box selection like this and click on delete option or delete button from your keyboard so next option is polygon polygon is basically uh, if i'll ask the minimum side of polygon and ma maximum side of polygon so the minimum side of polygon is 3 it means a triangle is also called polygon the meaning of the polygon is more than two sides is called polygon uh, in geometry the minimum side of polygon is 3 and maximum side is infinite but the software has limitations software can't generate the maximum size like infinite sides so every software has different different limitations like AutoCAD has one 024 maximum sides it means autocad can generate 1024 sides of polygon but in solid work there is only 40 sides the maximum limit is 40 of the polygon let's see how it works click on the center point and move like this so you can change the number of sides like 3 or i want to change it 5 so you can change whatever you want the sides and you can also see a circle this is called inscribed circle if i want to change like out outer circle like circumscribed circle there is an option like circumscribed circle just click on this option and you can see the circumscribed circle okay and you can also change the dimension of this circle like from this option so 120 degree or whatever the size you want okay so let's see it can be generate uh, more than 40 side or not let's check from this option i am feeding the uh, sides like 45 enter then you can see it is only generating 40 side here you can see it is already changed automatically if i'll uh, provide the number of side like 50 but it can't be changed to 50 it already set by default 40 so the maximum size uh, maximum sides are 40 in solid works so next come uh, to the another option is called uh, spline okay click on spline option yeah this is called multi curves you have, if uh, you have already learned autocad or different software then you have already know about what is this plan this is called multi curves spline it means these points are called control vertices points you can directly change these points just click and drag these points like what whenever you want or you can also provide the dimension from these points like click on this point to this point either click on horizontal or vertical okay so you can change the dimension like this okay so the, the another one is style spline style spline is working like this okay like this the control vertices points are existing outside of the arc like this okay and these points are aligned with curving points like turning points it means you can change the curve shape with picking these points like this and these points are also called uh, control vertices point okay so basically uh, in result of the differences between style spline and normal spline the basic difference is uh, in style spline we can generate more smooth curves while in normal spline 
the straight curves or point to point making curves will be generated okay so the last one is equation driven is fine is fine i'll explain you in next uh, tutorial it means i'll explain in surface design uh, tool because this option will be helpful to design surface drawings uh, so come to the next option is called text you can write any time kind of text just select the text option and write whatever you want so you can you can change the size of this text also or you can change the bold italic whatever you want okay so how you can change the size just click on this option use document form just uncheck this option you can see this option is highlighting right now just click on the font and it will take few seconds to open font dialog box so yes so you can change the font whatever the font you want you can change the italic bold whatever the font is style and you can change the size like i want to change in 10 okay you can see the text is changed if i want to write on the curve or whatever any kind of uh, base lines we can also write like i want to write on a spline curve so i have to draw a spline like this and then i'll select text option and this box in this box i'll select this curve and start writing then you can see the text is already start writing according to curve according to uh, arc path and you can also change the font from this option okay okay so you can see like this just click on ok button it's completed okay so the next option is called point just click on point option and click anywhere okay like this like this like this okay so you can also change the coordinate if you want to draw on the basis of coordinate like from the or respective to this origin point so you can provide the coordinate options like i want to provide x axis distance coordinate of this point is 90 and y axis distance is 100 so you can see this point is already placed on this point so friends we have already covered all tools of draw sketch commands so in next video i'll try to explain and try to complete all modifying commands of sketching in solidworks so hope this video would be helpful for you if you have any doubt related to this sketching videos please write a comment in comment box and i'll try to explain more in detail in next upcoming video so if you like this video please hit the subscribe button and also share with your loving friends so thank you for watching this video we'll see you soon till stay blessed and stay inspired